Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I'm answering a Dear Ruth Teresa question. That's right, I got a phone call today uh, from a client of mine kind of asking for more information, and I thought it was really interesting, so I thought, mm, I'll do a video on it. So, here we go. So, she was asking about the galactic center. And I thought it was a really interesting question because I've learned about this a couple of years ago and I guess I, you know, kind of forgot about it at the same time. It's one of those, it happens over a very, very short, short window, um, usually every year, if not every couple of years or so. So um, this year it is going to start on um, December 18th and it'll go until December 20th and it will be affecting a lot of people. The Galactic Center um, is kind of like in Sagittarius and it's at 27 degrees and that's what most people believe. So it's kind of like plus or minus that area, um, but it kind of opens up to the rest of our galaxy. So it's kind of like the Galaxy Center is kind of hitting us with a whole bunch of energy. And right as it does, our sun is gonna be like moving through that right at the same time. So it is going to be amplifying a lot of things. So our sun of course is about our ego and our self image and um, what we do for a living and all that kind of stuff. Kind of like, what do we do and how do we make, uh, you know, who are we married to? Who are we not married to? All that kind of stuff. What do we drive? Kind of that ego part of us. Now, um, kind of Sagittarius is kind of um, usually focuses in on like um, our higher minds, our higher learning. Um, and it can be kind of like wanting to socialize and kind of partake with other people. Um, I will tell you that usually, um, um, people will get kind of like stuck in their old ways. Um, but I will tell you kind of being flexible will make it a little bit easier. So let's explain this a little bit more. Um, okay. So the, uh, the galaxy center, um, or the cosmic center, however you want to put it, um, is, um, known as, uh, by, by many astrologers as kind of like our homing signal, kind of like our homing signal to like the cosmos and, um, kind of like where we need to be and what do we need to do in this world. And that is going to be kind of like kind of hitting us directly with all of that energy from our Milky Way galaxy kind of right at us. Um, and it's kind of, um, uh, kind of shrouded in this um, interstellar dust that's going to be kind of affecting us. It's going to be affecting like radio waves and other galaxies as well as just kind of just pushing all of that energy right at us. Um, even the mystery of like how the astrologers can correlate the meaning of like our galactic center um, is kind of like a, almost a universal energy of, of our ideas of how we kind of get our home and our soul, which really are Sun is kind of like our soul or a home or kind of like our ego, what we really are on the inside. Who are you and what do you do in the world? So it's kind of like that ego part of us, not the bad ego part, just the who we are. Um, yet, um, I will tell you that um, astrologers um, have gotten the message of like responding to this and kind of like how do we work through this energy a little bit easier because all of this energy is going to be coming in and so everybody's going to be kind of like ego hit for a period of time and not everybody's going to be hit at the same amount of energy. It depends on where we are, what's that sign, where's um, Sagittarius in your chart. It's going to be making a little bit of difference uh, for each person, but it's still going to be overwhelming us. Um, I will tell you that this is a special impact in our world and we tend to think of this as kind of translating our sun um, aligns with our galactic center every year, um, but some of them are better alignments than others and this can really highlight um, opportunities to kind of share our humanity, kind of share our um, life affirming ways and how we kind of connect to everybody else. Um, one of the um, things that are going to be kind of bringing in like some like causing a big effect but it's really like a small thing um is um Paulus which is a um asteroid um is going to be kind of bringing in kind of some changing in this and wanting us to interconnect um and kind of really boost our awareness and what's happening bringing the awareness into action kind of like normally we're aware of it but this one's going to be kind of like kicking us in the behind to kind of like okay now we need to be in action of this we need to change some things so kind of our sun polis and our galactic center is kind of making um a lot of changes in there we've also got our moon in um kind of making some um 
some uh, changes in there as well. Our moon um, is going to be making um, a trine um, from the sign of Leo and kind of making us want to be more social, kind of bringing out our kind of like our leadership, kind of that Leo energy, um, and then adding a dex an extra dose of kind of like compassion and um, passion into our lives. Um, now, kind of like, let's add some more energy to this because we also have Paulus, which is also um, an asteroid in the sign of Aquarius, will be sex, um, sextiling um, our sun with um, Mars in Aquarius. And this is going to be kind of like these two degrees of, of kind of like coming in of like all of this little thing is just like zooming straight at us. Um, this is going to be making... Um, work for us. It's going to be kind of really bringing a lot of energy for us. Um, this is going to be kind of some um, interesting energy for us um, and kind of bringing in kind of like how do we want to make ourselves known? Kind of like what is it that we want to do? And because it always happens in um, December, it's kind of highlighting like our charities, our how, where do we spend our energy? What do we give our money to? That sort of thing. Um, and kind of really bringing in this kind of cosmic social justice energy um, in there to kind of like kick it into gear. And so you're going to see a lot of people kind of making um, big uh, contributions to different groups or different societies or whatever it is and kind of bringing that up. Um, kind of the, one of them is, is because like our sun is... Um, uh, conjunct all these other energies um, in our Sagittarius sign, which is going to be really focusing us on our lack of um, morality and kind of like um, anybody who is capable, you know, someone who's kind of like capable of doing anything. Um, and it's going to be really highlighting this energy. Um, kind of um, the thing that really activates this as well is kind of this crazy energy because we also have on December 19th, right in the middle of all this, we have Mercury stationing um, full retrograde. It would have been in uh, uh, pre-shadow for a while and kind of stationed full retrograde at that time frame. Um, so it's kind of um, this intense energy um, that's going to be kind of taking over this time frame kind of pushing this energy and bringing it into what do we need to do or how do we need to fix all of this. Um, I will tell you that this is kind of brings in um, a lot of um, energy and because of that I will tell people take time for yourself kind of stay focused uh, when you're driving or when you're out and about in public because people's other people's energy is going to be kind of pulling you around and um, I will tell you anticipate some um, delays um, and kind of like some snafus and some kind of like this isn't going well or this is not moving because we've got mercury in retrograde during this time frame um, but I will tell you um, kind of limit your alcohol intake because if you it's one of those a lot of people are like oh I can handle it and they're gonna be drinking way more so that energy is going to be overwhelming us a lot um, go ahead and listen to kind of like your inner side of kind of like what do I need to do um, if you really kind of believe, and I love this um, uh, quote by um, Albert Einstein of kind of like, our universe is ultimately a friendly universe, um, then it's going to be kind of really wanting to choose to show you that kind of that friendliness with other people. It's going to come in with a lot of other energy as well. It's going to come in with a lot of other um, stuff moving around. So I understand it's going to be like, oh my gosh, this is kind of crazy, overwhelming energy. But understand if you believe at your core that our universe is friendly and on our side, then this is going to make it so much easier um, than anything else. I, I think that's kind of the best way to put it. Uh, but all of this energy is in play. It's kind of normal for this time of year. And so it's kind of that kind of interesting energy. Let's pull some angel cards and get us a little bit deeper insight into our um, galactic um, center. Uh, lining up with our sun. So that's kind of cool. Um, this one is kind of the south node and this is the past. And I guarantee you a lot of people are going to be dealing with past stuff. Um, egos bring up a lot of energy, especially if you've grown up in a very ego family uh, where a lot of people had a very strong ego. That is going to be something that's going to be, uh, could be um, affecting you as well. Uh, next one is a deliberate, and this is all about discomfort. So it's going to be bringing up some discomfort for people, kind of like bringing in that kind of like the snafus, the energy, how do we work through all of this? And it doesn't mean that you 
should be social or have to be social, or you should be far away from everybody else. You know your own energy. You should be able to kind of call this one for yourself. Like, should I really chance it to go out to this party or should I not? Because that energy is going to be out there for everybody, not just you. It's everybody else as well. Uh, upside down here we go this is our square and this is all about the tension there's going to be an upload of tension and like I said there's going to be an upload of um kind of wanting people to kind of like take accounting for what they're doing or take accounting for what they've done in the past so you're going to see a lot of that amplified um and because it affects affects us globally you're going to see that on a global scale not just you know one person or one little place or whatever else you're going to see this affect a lot of politicians you're going to see this affect a lot of um hollywood stars like people that are globally known you're going to see a lot of that effects in there um this is the ninth house and this is all about exploration um exploring yourself during this time frame of kind of like um, what are the changes I require making within me? Where do I have to balance my energy with my ego? Not that it's good or it's bad, but just make sure you're taking that balance into account. Um, Leo, which has a lot of energy in play, uh, because um, a lot of people really um, think of Leo as having that ego energy as well. It's kind of more like I want to shine, and sometimes that can bring up our ego as well, but make sure you're not being triggered the same time. This is Libra and this is all about balancing. This is a balancing act and this happens every year. It's not like, oh my gosh, this never happens. It happens every year. It happens every year. Um, some years it's stronger, some years not so much. So understand that this is all part of it and you're going to be feeling some changes, not only for yourself, but other people as well. Um, the last one I have is the 11th house and this is community. This is what I'm talking about. This is not going to be just affecting you. It's going to be affecting everybody around. So make sure that you make Make allowances for other people as they kind of make it triggered um, even if you're kind of like I know what's happening and that sort of thing just know that this is going to be triggering a lot of people uh, with a lot of um, ego energy and if they're not really good with their ego or really have a big ego it's going to be affecting them even more I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon